Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look into third-party infrastructure as a core tools available with Azure. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. First, let's look into Chef. So what is Chef? Chef is an infrastructure automation tool that you can use for deploying, configuring, managing, and ensuring compliance of application and infrastructure. It provides for a consistent deployment and management experience. And Chef helps you to manage your infrastructure in the cloud, on-premises, or in a hybrid environment by using instructions to configure nodes. A node or Chef client is any physical or virtual machine, cloud, or network device that is under management by Chef. This is an example diagram of a high-level architecture of Chef. And Chef has three main architectural components, Chef Server, Chef Client, and Chef Workstation. Chef Server is a management point. There are two options for Chef Server, a hosted solution and an on-premises solution. The second one is Chef Node. This is a Chef agent that resides on servers you are managing. And the third one is Chef Workstation. This is the admin workstation where you create policies and execute management commands. And you can run the knife command from the Chef Workstation to manage your infrastructure. Let's understand Chef Automate. You can deploy Chef on a Microsoft Azure from the Azure Marketplace using the Chef Automate image. And Chef Automate is a Chef product that allows you to package and test your application and provision and update your infrastructure. And what is Chef Cookbooks? Chef uses a cookbook to define a set of commands that you execute on your managed client. A cookbook is a set of tasks that you use to configure an application or feature. It defines a scenario and everything required to support that scenario. And within a cookbook, there are a series of recipes which define a set of actions to perform. And cookbooks and recipes are written in the Ruby language. Now let's look into Puppet. So what is Puppet? Puppet is a deployment and configuration management tool set that provides you with enterprise tools that you need to automate an entire lifecycle on your Azure infrastructure. It also provides consistency and transparency into infrastructure changes. And Puppet provides a series of open source configuration management tool and projects. It also provides Puppet Enterprise, which is a configuration management platform that allows you to maintain state in both your infrastructure and application deployments. And the main architectural components of Puppet include Puppet Master, Puppet Agent, Console Services, and Facts. Let's look into how can you deploy Puppet in Azure. Puppet Enterprise is available to install directly into Azure using Azure Marketplace. And the Puppet Enterprise image allows you to manage up to 10 Azure VMs for free. And it is available to use immediately. Another option of creating a Puppet Master in Azure is to install Linux VM in Azure and deploy the Puppet Enterprise package manually. Let's look into how can you manifest files. Puppet program files have these following elements. Classes, resources, and module. Class is a bucket that you can put resource into. Resources are a single element of your configuration that you can specify parameters for. And module is the collection of all the classes, resources, and other elements of your Puppet program file in a single entity. Now let's understand Ansible. So what is Ansible? Ansible is an open source platform by Red Hat that automates cloud provisioning, configuration management, and application deployments. Using Ansible, you can provision VMs, containers, and your entire cloud infrastructure. In addition to provisioning and configuring application and their environments, Ansible enables you to automate deployments and configuration of resources in your environment such as virtual network, storage, subnet, and resource groups. And Ansible is designed 
for multiple tier deployments. Unlike Puppet or Chef, Ansible is agentless, meaning you don't have to install software on a managed machine. Let's look into Ansible components. These are the core components part of Ansible. First is control machine. This is the machine from which the configurations are run. Then we have managed nodes. These are the devices and machines and environments that are being managed. Then we have playbooks. Playbooks are ordered list of tasks that have been saved so you can run them repeatedly in the same order. The last but not the least is modules. An Ansible works by connecting to your nodes and, and then pushing small programs called modules out of the nodes. So modules are the units of code that define the configuration. Now let's look into Terraform. So what is Terraform? HashiCorp Terraform is an open source tool that allows you to provision, manage and version cloud infrastructure. It codifies infrastructure in configuration files that describes the topology of cloud resources such as VMs, storage accounts and networking interfaces. Terraform's command line interface provides a simple mechanism to deploy and version the configuration files to Azure or any other supported cloud service. The CLI also allows you to validate and preview infrastructure changes before you deploy them. And Terraform can also support multi-cloud scenarios. This means it enables developers to use same tools and configuration files to manage infrastructure on multiple cloud platforms. Let's have a look into high-level components used for Terraform. This include configuration files, which is text-based configuration files allow you to define infrastructure and application configuration. Then we have Terraform CLI. This is a command line interface from which you run configurations. Then we have modules. And modules are self-contained packages of Terraform configuration that are managed as a group. That concludes this episode. In the next video, we're going to look into module 10 knowledge check. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.